The 13th United States Census, conducted by the Census Bureau on April 15, 1910, determined the resident population of the United States to be 92,228,496, an increase of 21.0% over the 76,212,168 persons enumerated during the 1900 census. The 1910 census switched from a portrait page orientation to a landscape orientation. Census questions The 1910 census collected the following information Full documentation for the 1910 census, including census forms and enumerator instructions, is available from the Integrated Public Use Microdata series. Column titles The column titles in the census form are as follows Location Street, Avenue, Road, etc. House number in cities or towns 1. Number of dwelling house in order of visitation 2. Number of family in order of visitation 3. Name of each person whose place of abode on April 15, 1910, was in this family Enter surname first, then the given name and middle initial, if any Include every person living on April 15, 1910. Omit children born since April 15, 1910. Relation 4. Relationship of this person to the head of the family. Personal description 5. Sex 6. Color or race 7. Age at last birthday 8. Whether single, married, widowed, or divorced 9. Number of years of present marriage. 10. Mother of how many children, number born. 11. Mother of how many children, number now living. Nativity. Place of birth of each person and parents of each person enumerated. If born in the United States, give the state or territory. If of foreign birth, give the country. 12. Place of birth of this person. 13. Place of birth of father of this person. 14. Place of birth of mother of this person. Citizenship. 15. Year of immigration to the United States. 16. Whether naturalized or alien. 17. Whether able to speak English, or, if not, give language spoken. Occupation. 18. Trade or profession of, or particular kind of work done by this person, as spinner, salesman, laborer, etc. 19. General nature of industry, business, or establishment in which this person works, as cotton mill, dry goods store, farm, etc. 20. Whether as employer, employee, or work on own account. If an employee. 21. Whether out of work on April 15, 1910. 22. Number of weeks out of work during year 1909. Education. 23. Whether able to read. 24. Whether able to write. 25. Attended school any time since September 1, 1909. Ownership of home. 26. Owned or rented. 27. Owned free or mortgaged. 28. Farm or house. 29. Number of farm schedule. 30. Whether a survivor of the Union or Confederate Army or Navy. 31. Whether blind, both eyes. 32. Whether deaf and dumb. Topic: State rankings. Special notation: In 1912 and 1959, New Mexico, Arizona, Alaska, and Hawaii would become the 47th, 48th, 49th, and 50th states admitted to the Union. The 1910 population count for each of these areas was 327,301, 204,354, 64,356 and 191,909 respectively. On this basis, the ranking list above would be Modified as follows, first 42 ranked states, positions unchanged, then 43 New Mexico, 44 Idaho, 45 Arizona, 46 Delaware, 47 Hawaii, 48 Wyoming, 49 Nevada and 50 Alaska. 
Topic: City rankings. Topic: Data availability. The original census enumeration sheets were microfilmed by the Census Bureau in the 1940s, after which the original sheets were destroyed. The microfilmed census is available in roles from the National Archives and Records Administration. Several organizations also host images of the microfilmed census online, along with digital indices. Microdata from the 1910 census are freely available through the integrated public use microdata series. Aggregate data for small areas, together with electronic boundary files, can be downloaded from the National Historical Geographic Information System. Notes External links 1911 U.S. Census Report contains 1910 census results Historic U.S. Census data census.gov slash population slash www slash census data slash population of states and counties of the United States 1790-1990. PDF.